Now here we are going to discuss about the impeller. Now what is impeller? Now impeller is the main rotating part that provides the centrifugal acceleration to the fluids that is to impart thiatic energy to liquid. Now we need some criteria for the impeller. The criteria is that it should have adequate mechanical strength, it should have anti-wear and anti-corrosion material and it should be having low density, good car stability, weldability and it should be cheaper. So these are few things about the impeller. Now they are oftenly classified in many ways. Now based on the major direction of flow, it can be classified as a radial flow, axial flow or a mixed flow. Now based on the suction type, it can be single suction or double suction. So these are few types through which we can describe about impeller. Again, in case of a mechanical one, it can be closed, it can be open or it can be semi-open or semi-closed also called as a vortex type. Now, in case of closed type, it is used for a less viscous fluid. Now, in case of a semi-closed, it is used for semi-viscous fluid. And in case of an open type impeller, it is used for higher viscous fluid. The material for the impeller is generally cast iron or steel. Now steel is used for controlling the size of impeller but widely used material is a cast iron as it is available and cheap. The number of impellers determines the number of stages of the pump. So single stage pump has one impeller only and it is best for low head service. A two-stage pump has two impellers in series for medium head service. A multi-stage pump has three or more impellers in series for high head service. The function of impeller nut is to lock the impeller in its proper axial position and to prevent the axial movement due to hydraulic thrust. Now let's uh, discuss about blades. Now the blades of the impeller should have adequate mechanical strength. So it should have less fluidic friction and shockless entry and exit. There are three types of blades, the forward type, radial type and backward type. The forward type of blade are widely used for compressor and fans because its efficiency is 75%. The radial type of blades are used for blower and fans, its efficiency is up to 80 to 85%. And the backward, it is used for centrifugal pump, its efficiency is from 85 to 90. Now theoretically, the number of blades required are infinity for preventing the back circulation of flow. But increasing the number of blades, of course, it will increase the material. So the normally number of blades are 2 to 3 for open type of impeller and 6 to 12 for closed type of impeller. So as per the pump manufacturing, the number of blades can be given by this formula, where D1, D2 are the diameters inner and outer, so beta1 and beta2 are the angles. Now these are few types of forward blade type, radial blade type and backward blade type. So as per the flow, so if this is the flow, this is forward, this is radial and this is backward. So these are three types of flow, these types of uh, blades, we have it. Next we have wear rings. So wear rings provides an easily and economically renewable leakage joint between the impeller and the casing. The clearance becomes too large, the pump efficiency will be lowered causing the heat and vibration problems. So the most manufacturers required to disassemble the pump to check the wear ring clearance and replace, replace the wear rings when the clearance doubles. The function of wear ring, in short we can write it like this, to control the leakage losses across the annual path between the impeller and wear ring, to protect the rotating impeller from rubbing with the stationary casing and to provide the replaceable wear joint. Next we have a shaft. Now shaft is usually the long longest part of a pump which is made up of uh, one piece. Now its function is to transmit input power from a driver, driver into the impeller. In case of a closed coupled pump, 
the motor has an extended length of a pump shaft that acts as a pump shaft in some vertical pumps so called as line shaft pump the shaft may be supplied in more than one piece or 10 feet sections depending on the pump bow settings below the ground surface the basic function of the centrifugal pump shaft is to transmit the torque encountered when starting and during operation while supporting the impeller and other rotating parts the failure of, of shaft may take place due to the bending of shaft by impeller weight that is denoted as wi and dynamic force that is denoted as fd and also by tensile or compressive force due to the axial thrust so the following assumptions can be made for easy design of shaft number one the weight of shaft coupling can be neglected the dynamic load calculation based on the average radius axial thrust due to change in direction can be neglected and the inlet can be considered as axial and exit can be considered as in radial directions so these are few considerations in case of a shaft design next we have shaft sleeve now the function of a shaft sleeve is to protect the shaft from erosion and corrosion and it is used to enhance the stiffness of the rotating element also to protect the shaft from abrasive wear at fat stuffing box or leak joints so these are few functions of shaft sleeves next we have a coupling in the bearing now as we know the coupling is used to connect two points now here the function of coupling is to connect the pump shaft and driver shaft and to transmit input power from the driver to the pump next we have a bearing the bearing is used to support the weight of the shaft the assembly to carry the hydraulic loads acting on the shaft and to keep the pump shaft aligned to the shaft driver the taper roller bearings of a deep blue ball bearings can be used for the impeller shaft as a radial and axial force are exist the axial thrust can be considered as 30 percent to the axial load as the thrust holes are provided on the base plate in high pressure side near the hub level 